welcome to the number one online trading company that's going to give you all the tools necessary to show you how to be a consistent and profitable trader. In order to do that, we've got to get some things set up first. There are quite a few devices that people use, um, such as their Android or a tablet or even iPhone users. What we're going to do is set those devices up today in this video. Really help you get that set up so that you can begin your trading process. Once you go through the academy, then this is pretty much the next step of getting your devices set up so that you can begin to trade. Um, so we're going to go through that process and also show you how to place a trade on both Android and iPhone devices. All right. So getting things set up, get excited because you were in for a journey. Now getting things set up. I don't want this to over. Don't complicate it. Basically, just don't complicate this because you're going to be in a trial period where this demo account is going to be your first place where you get to practice. You get to practice. And once you get the fundamentals down, you get rhythm down packed, then you can begin to connect with your coach and your upline sponsor to open up your live account. But for this process here, most people stay in their demo account at least 30 to 45 days to begin the process. Now, I still have my demo account open because I need to test things from home. I need to you know, back test some things and see how things work out before I take it to my live account. So you'll always keep the demo account, but we want to make sure that you are not staying just in demo land. All right. So on your device, make sure that you are downloading MetaTrader 4, which is the free app that you're going to be using from your Play Store. Make sure you download that. There's a couple of things that you want to know as far as trading lot sizes, you will see this later. Please refer back to our website. Our team website is mytradinglounge.com. That's going to give you a lot of the resources so that you can stay on top of more of the terms that we're going to be using throughout this video. Now the lot size is going to be how much money are you going to be getting paid per pip? You need to know this. The lower the lot size, the better. The lower the lot size, the lower the profit, but also the lower the risk. It doesn't matter if you have a $100 account versus a $100,000 account. We need to stick within a range of being cool. You know, guys, you don't want to go in and blow your account immediately. So this is a process where you want to take your time and learn how to earn a dollar first on a consistent basis. And then as you start to learn a little bit more, then you'll begin to get more comfortable with increasing your lot size, all right? So for these demonstrations in this particular video, we're gonna stick with a 0.01 lot size, which is equivalent to 10 cents per pip, all right? Now, as you have downloaded the app on your phone, in this video, what I have is two separate screens. You've got on the left-hand side, you've got your iPhone users, that's how your device is gonna look, and on the right-hand side, Android. So just follow along with whatever phone that you have. Now, as you download the phone, number one, for iPhone users, you're going to look at the very bottom where it says settings. You're going to tap on that, and then you're going to look for new account. For Android users, what you're going to do is you're going to click on the three bars at the very top and look for account where it says manage accounts. And that's where you're going to add in your pairs. This is where you're going to be able to add in all of the necessary pairs that you are going to be working with in the future. The next screen is going to pretty much be self-explanatory. iPhone users, it says open a personal demo. Android says open a demo account. So you're going to open a demo account. Now in the search bar, you're going to type in Hugo's way. You can use whatever account that you choose. You may want to talk to your coach or upline to see which ones that they may be using, but I personally use Hugo's Way. I've used FX Choice before, but just check and see what your team is, has a suggestion to use. Remember, this is just for demo. Now, as you type that in there, you're going to look for it and then click on that particular broker. The next screen is pretty self-explanatory. Just make sure that your full name, your phone number, your email address, is in six, seven, and eight. As you drop down to nine, make sure that you are changing the deposit amount from $100,000. Yeah, guys, don't, you're not gonna do all that. <laughs> Change it to $3,000. It's a little bit more usable 
um, than going around thinking you're going to start your account with $100,000. Now, if you're going to start your account out with $100,000, fine. Re be realistic. Go for it. Keep it in there. But I want this to be as real as possible as what you would be using in your own live account. But remember, these are just demo funds, but you will be working in a live trading environment. All right, so once you've changed the deposit amount from $100,000 to $3,000, make sure that you click Create Account or Register. For iPhone users, please make sure that you are copying the clipboard. Keep that um, just in case if you need to use the same demo account on another device. That way you still have the password and log in for another device. Okay, now this is what your screen looks like. Get excited, you're getting close to placing a trade. This is what your screen is gonna look like once you begin to uh, open the app up. At the very bottom of the screen, you're gonna see five tabs down there. You're really gonna focus on four of them. The one on the very left is quotes. The one next to it is charts. The one next to it is your trades. And the one next to it is your history. So anytime that you need to come back almost to the home screen, make sure that you're hitting the quotes button so that you can always come back to where your quotes are. If you need to see the charts, then you're definitely gonna click on the next button where, it, where the candlesticks are for any charts. And if you wanna see any transactions that you've already placed already in position waiting to profit, then you're going to push the, chat, the trade button so that you can see what's in transaction. And anything that has already hit for profit or loss is going to fall into that history column. All right, so number 13, what you're gonna do is click at the very top because now we want to do is we want to add in additional pairs. Add in additional pairs. And if you have the view at the very top, if you notice at the very top for the iPhone users, it says simple or advanced. Make sure it is checked to advanced. You have a better view. As you look on the next screen, some phones are different, but for the most part, you're going to find that FX majors is going to be anything that has a USD in the currency pair. You're going to click on that and then tap every single pair that's behind those folders. Same thing with FX crosses. You're going to tap on that. And then every pair that's behind that folder, you're going to add that in to your account. Okay. Now, if you choose to do anything such as metals or cryptocurrencies on an a la carte basis, you can do that. Metals, maybe such as XAU USD, which is gold. We trade that quite a lot in our team. So just tap on that, look for XAU USD, and just put that in there. Some people love to trade cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin. So make sure that you're tapping on that folder and just looking for BTC USD. Now it's time to get organized. Now, once all those pairs are in your trading platform, now you wanna click on the pencil at the very top of the screen. And what that's going to do is allow you to alphabetize the trades, the pairs. Use the three bars so that you can move the pairs in alphabetical order, such as you don't wanna look for AU, AUUSD all the way at the bottom of the screen. So just make sure that you have them in some kind of order that best fits you. Make sure that in the history column, you have $3,000 starting out just to verify that you've got the money necessary to get things started. All right, so you have everything pretty much set up. Remember that any time that your coach or your sponsor wants to take a look and maybe overlook just to make sure you have everything set up, definitely connect with them just to make sure that you have everything set up because it's nothing worse than stopping trading or not even trading at all if you don't have the confidence of having this set up in the first place, all right? That's what we're here for. We wanna make sure that your journey starts out great. All right, now it's time to place a trade. Now, remember there's going to be different options of where you can actually get live trades from. Our team uses the Harmonic Scanner uh, because that is the number one platform that has been working since the company started in 2013. So we use that a lot to receive trades. There are some people that use different apps such as Levels, Swipe Coin, and maybe even Gold Cup, and there's quite a few others. Those are apps that are additional monies per month, maybe $22 a month, 
But what that's going to do is give you the answers to the test. They're actually going to give you trade alerts from a trade expert. And all you need to do is receive those trades and actually place them into your device. So as you're receiving them, I want to make sure that you're comfortable with placing them properly. All right, again, we've got iPhone to the left, Android to the right. So as you come back to the screen and you're ready to place a trade, let's say we're looking for AUD USD. That trade came out and you want to place that trade. Well, you're going to tap on that. You're going to get to the quotes page. You want to get to that particular trade that you're looking for. And as you see, I have mine in alphabetical order. So you can do that anytime with a pencil at the very top of the chart there iPhone users, when you tap on that particular pair that you want to trade, you're going to get a, a window that pops open. You're going to hit trade. For Android users, you're going to hit new order. Now, you're going to verify this is the right, correct pair that I want. You've got market execution right below it. You've got some numbers underneath it, 0 .004. That's what's in there. And something that says stop loss and a take profit. Now, these are the only fields you want to focus on completing before you place the trade. Now, market execution and any other pending orders, we're not going to go too deep into that in this particular video. We have another video that shows the significance of those kinds of trades. Go into the 100 section of your academy and you'll be able to see pending trades. All right. For this particular exercise, the market execution, guys, is just going to be I'm ready to get into the market right now. Right now, whatever the current price is, I'm ready to get into the market. Right below that, you're going to see some numbers. Now remember, a lot size. We talked about that just a couple minutes ago. A lot size is something very important that you want to put in there to dictate how much money you're going to get paid on this particular trade. Remember, we're going to stick with 0 0.01 for these particular exercises until you begin to build your confidence and build your account balances up. All right, so we've got market execution. You can Tap your finger onto the lot size there and manipulate whatever price you want to put in there. Now, stop loss and take profit. If you are receiving trades from another source, all you want to do is copy that information and place it into these fields. All right. There are some times that you're going to be able to use the harmonic scanner and they actually give you those informations right on the screen. So you're taking off the take profit price. You're just taking off what the stop loss price says, and that's it. That's all you need. And then you're going to hit buy or sell by market, whether it's a buy or a sell. For Android users, it's just a little bit different. It doesn't say stop loss or take profit. Yours is underlined with a color, a colored line. So if you look at it, there's going to be market execution, your, your lot size, and then you've got two numbers below it. The one to the left, is what's called your bid price all right if you're selling this particular currency pair then you're going to pay attention to that price if you are looking to place a buy order then you're going to pay attention to the price on the right hand side and that's your asking price all right so your bid and your asking price android users the next line is underlined in red that is where you will place your stop loss price android users to the right that line that's underlined in green, guess what? That's where your take profit price will be. And at the bottom, if you ever get confused and just kind of which one did she say? Was it a bid or an ask? Or what was that for the sellers or the buyers? Look to your left of the screen. If you see sell by markets on the left and to the right, you've got buy by market. So it just kind of follows right up vertically. The price, the 0.73396 for the Android users, that's the price you'll place in excuse me, that's the price you'll follow as you're placing a sell order. And to the right, if you're placing a buy order, just look to the bottom, just in case you get a little off track, you can always go back to this video and try to remember that. All right, so everything there is everything that you would need for market execution. You're going right into the market, it's picking up the current price. You set it, forget it, and go on about your business. Now, these orders right here, if you tap on market execution, there are some buy limit, sell limit, buy stop, and sell stop orders. We're not going to go too deep. Again, that is in the 100 section of the um, academy. And you'll be able to see those videos in full effect as far as how they work. Now, these are beautiful because 
you may be busy and you may see that a price has not activated yet. So you're waiting for a future price to activate. So these pending orders are beautiful for the busy person who wants to say, well, hey, when the price reach here, this is when I want this particular trade to activate and go into position. All right. So learn more about those limit and stop orders there. But as you place that, let's say, for example, you got an order that was a buy stop. Let's say um, and one of the trade educators called out a buy stop order. All right. Screen looks a little bit different. You're going to tap on that market execution, tap on buy stop, and this is what you'll see. A little bit different, the only extra field that's in there is now the price. You have to tell the, you have to tell the app what price do you want this particular currency pair to begin. You'll place that in there, you're still um, manually putting your stop loss and put in your take profit. Be sure you check everything and you hit place. For Android users, pretty much the same thing. Your entry price is where you would place the price that you want the price to begin getting into position. Stop loss is to your left, underline in red, stop is red, and the price to your right is your take profit, underlined in green. Okay? So it gets to the point now where you know how to place the trade. Now it might get to the point where you're like, yo, I did not mean to put that one in. It was an accident. Or you might be in a trade and you're saying, hey, it's, it's going in the right direction and I want to stay in this particular trade. I don't want to close it out quite yet, but I do want to get a little bit more meat on the bones. So you may want to modify the pricing and you can do that. So let's just say you have a trade that is open. When you hit that third tab at the very bottom, you're going to go into that particular trade, take a look, and you're going to tap on that particular currency pair under positions. And what's going to pop open is a window. And you tell it if you want to close it, if you're done with it, um, you want to delete the order, you do that. Whether it's in profit or loss, you can still close it out here. You can also modify the order. So again, if you want to go back in here and modify it, it may be that you want to adjust the take profit. You may want to adjust the pricing on the stop loss. You can do that here. One thing you won't be able to change is the lot size. So be very careful when you are placing your order that you know your lot size, you're comfortable with the lot size, and that's what you're going to stick with. All right? So that concludes the video. Here are some additional information that our team wants to make sure that we stay on top of education number one.